What if I'm sleeping? And this is more nightmare. For the next minute. There! That's the one that did it! That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. I'm not getting in that way. <laughs> Just stay in a raid the later. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place.
swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Ow! Oh, what the hell? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. I hear she recover in a few days. Sane. Did she know too much? About what? Gemma? Never have pictured it. I'm not sure I actually want to come to think of it. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Donut! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there!
worried it top to bottom, then right to left. The lock's looking for a permanent solution. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. Electrocutions. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job, and then I'd have a press pass. Well, I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motoline regulation unit. Why are we doing this to each other? is a municipal work site, and you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Oh, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? <laughs> <gasps> Really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. There. On the other hand, the it looks like it. I can get down now. Good to get a bit of her. Uh... <laughs> well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten.
Rat, you can't take all this with you. out on the elevator. I'll need to find a way to turn the juice back on. And yet another note about bad joy. Jamma was really onto something, wasn't she? that platform without getting electrocuted. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before- <laughs> Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw.
she accidentally poisoned the muffins. They even on joy people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? Joy's going bad. That'll drive the entire town crazy. They're adjusting the formula. New materials. That sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. There's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. They're unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. Well, this is the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. Captain Toto! Toto!
exposed. Shit! How do I open it? We can walk down by the beach. Just you and me. We've got life underneath our feet. Help me as can be. Can you help me? Help me please. Cause I'm down here on my So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm gonna have to turn on some power switches. get around. I wonder if they ever get stuck. That could get awkward. Doesn't anything work around here? So electricity damages jubilators. I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid...
I redirect the motor lane to power the grid? Okay, that's one. Two more, I think. I think if I redirect the motor lane to power the grid... I sort of think this place is about to explode. One more. Swimming! Oh, good Christ! Where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes?
Open up that bloody door now, I hope. There you go, bye. A permanent solution. Again. A shock grenade. Well, that's what I need to kill this berserk tea kettle.
I did not expect. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra. This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop- Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, See if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great! I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Shit. 
shit. I see. That is very good. It's not in that alley, is it? Doctor, he does love to be in the papers, they're right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing <laughs> argument. Are you saying I... Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of, um... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just, uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Here. I want you to have this. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. I'm touched. Truly I am. Lovely weather. Right as rain, right as rain. Here we'll have the same respect for a press pulse as the you are not did. authorized. Please clear the area immediately. We can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Looks like they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. 
Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just graph the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris.